Hey everyone, and welcome back to more premiere drafts of Midnight Hunt. Last time we played an Orzhov deck that went 5 wins, so when 5 wins is your lowest win rate, that feels really good because you're still making gems every single time. Um, game's pretty darn good, very happy to have it, very happy that I'm figuring it out. But the problem that I keep finding is that the answer to a lot of my themes is make sure you draft black. Because black is just so strong in this format. And we start with a mythic that's black. So, sticking to our roots, sticking to what I said. Um, crawl from the cellar. Er, de Defenestrate and crawl from the cellar, I'm both happy picking. Um, Gavany Silversmith's very good. Borrow time. Devious cover up. I think what happens is when I get the pack back, any good cards left is a signal that that color is open. Um, Root Coil Creeper will probably get passed back because no one knows if they're green blue until it's already too late. Borrowed Time's a nice card, but, I mean, this is a 2-mana two 2-3 two, Death Dutcher. Like, 2-mana two 2-3 two, is good and limited. 2-mana two 2-3 two, Death Dutcher is pretty awesome and limited. The fact that it then has this ability to create a bunch of 2-2 um, two, two Black to Cane tokens and just be a bigger creature later on is just absolutely insane. The adversaries are absolutely insane for limited. Absolutely insane for limited. Alright. Rare was taken. Tells us nothing. Kill spell. I think we take it. Um, I am kind of signaling that blue is way open for someone, but I'm okay with that. I get a kill spell. I get good good black card into good black card. So in Constructed, this has the issue that losing two life, you're often using this to try to prevent yourself from dying from aggression, and therefore the losing two life is actually a significant cost. In Limited, it's two life. I'm going to, like, you're killing like a, their four drop for two life. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Diagraph Rebirth. Am I really jumping into that bandwagon already? Uh, we have a defendant. I think we're going to not speculate yet. Um, I would like to get a Diagraph Rebirth. No denying that. But I think I'm going to grab either the Fenestrate or the Eaten Alive. Um, a Static Awakener is better when I get more zombie stuff, but so is Eaten, Eaten Alive. I think I like that better than the Fenestrate because there are flyers, there are disturbed cards that I want to deal with. This exiles instead of kills. And I could sacrifice a creature or just pay 5 mana. The fact that I can just pay 5 mana makes this fantastic. Note that blue, that green seems pretty open. Might be able to grab the Diagraph Rebirth. But I've seen Diagraph Rebirth rotate around. I have not seen kill spells like that rotate around. Alright. Ominous Roost. Someone might be getting a good blue deck. Um, no way out. I have said I like 1, but I like 1. I don't think we grab it this early. Ron Reunion, again, like one, don't want it this early. Novice Occultist, I can play. I can... Novice Occultist... If you have the Eaten Alive effects, it's okay, it's good, but it definitely is just not the big, not a big enough body. Alright. Hobbling Zombie, get myself the black. Definitely some good cards like Broodweaver. Um, gonna wait until we see what colors are open before I start picking those. Um, also, if you go mono black, that means when you grab a good rare of another color, you can just pick it immediately and not worry about future issues. All right. All the com all the uncommons have been taken, so no real signals there. Crawl from the cellar, I actually do appreciate in this format, and I already have two zombies that like it, so I'm happy with that. All right. Rotten Reunion, I think, I think this signals that blue is pretty darn open. I do like my Dissipates. I'm going to sideboard it, but I think I do pick the Dissipate here. Um, we'll see if blue-green is available. Drown Yard Amalgam is a pretty good... I think it's a pretty good late-game card. I haven't had a chance to play it. I've just been playing black so much in this format, and it's been doing me well. It's been shown correct. Um, I can hold up Blood Pact and Dissipate at the same time, and this, I think I have, like... I'm going to go with a Blood Pact because it sticks with my black color, and if it works with the blue deck, it works with the blue deck because it's instant speed already. So I'm going to go with the Blood Pact here. Alright, we're back to my deck. Crawl from the Cellar made it up. Devious Cover Up made it back. Alright. We are going to have this blue black deck ready if it's offered to us. We have two counter spells sitting in our sideboard right now. Oh boy. And then we're given no cards to support it. Alright. Happens, happens. I think we just grab the Jack-O-Lantern in case we need to splash in multiple colors. Diagraph Rebirth made it around, and if we end up green, we want it. So we're either 
We're either we're black, and then we're either green or blue. It looks like right now. Um, blue for control, black for mid-range aggression sort of effects. Um, our early game's pretty solid. Novice Cultist is definitely my weakest card. Um, I'm gonna actually sideboard this now just because um, it is my weakest card in this. And, like, I'm definitely playing all of these. I'm definitely playing all of these. So, let's start with all the cards. I'm gonna try just having all the cards I definitely wanna play in here. And then slotting in, so that instead of having 30, like, 40 cards and going down to 24, I instead will have 20 cards and go up to 24. Um, show you what cards are the strongest, give you a sense of what is the card that I'm like, yes, I'm picking this. Um, I am definitely, I am definitely the sort of person who can go with a control deck and be super happy. So, if I end up with, um, this Dissipate deck, I am very happy. Okay, so I actually want... So, I want to pass over the Keswick Naturalist to signal to someone that blue, that green-red is open. I want to signal to them that green... Nah, nah. I still... I will not... I cannot... This format, I don't think, supports the rest at all. So... The rest is kind of the, one of those cards that's nice to have for standard as a sideboard option sort of thing. But anything that's a sideboard option in best of one... Isn't really a sideboard option. Alright. A non-card. Memory Deluge. We also will be getting... Possibly a Novice Cultist. I think with Memory Deluge, we have declared we are the black-blue control deck. We're gonna try out this one. So we've been doing black-green, black-white, now black-blue. We'll tr see black-red next time, I'm certain of it. <laughs> Alright. So since we're more controlling, I actually do like the Locked in the Cemetery. Um, not as many cards are gonna... So I have noted an issue with Locked in the Cemetery is you don't always have five cards in your graveyard. But I think we will manage. Arrogant Outlaws is just a three drop. I'm not sure. Um, this can be removal. And sometimes it's a late removal, but that's still okay. Alright. But yeah, Enchantment Removal... I do recognize it's not as strong as I want it to be in this format, but... Yeah. Unless it's Banishing Light, of course. Alright. Second Devious Cover-Up. And now we can go Hyper Control. Definitely worth knowing. Flesh is pretty good. but So here's the thing. With two Devious Cover-Ups, you can play the Devious Cover-Up to return the Devious Cover-Up from the graveyard to your hand or to the library. And then you could basically cycle them to Never Mill. Never Mill. So we're going to see if the Double Devious Cover-Up deck works. We have a Dissipate and a Memory Deluge supporting it for holding up my mana as well as the Blood Pact. So... Yeah, we already have one, two, three, four, five instant speed cards. Oh, six. And then we have just good control with Hobbling Zombie, Tainted Adversary, Infernal Grasp, Eaten Alive, Crawl from the Cellar for all my Death Touchers, and Zombie Creature Tokens. This this card is great with Crawl from the Cellar because I can play it on turn two as a two, three Death Toucher, and then play it later, um, use Crawl from the Cellar to play as a five mana, three, four or Death Toucher with some zombie tokens. And then again, or I can just like buff it up. Like Croft and Cellar, Tainted Adversary. This card becomes a lot better because of Tainted Adversary, basically. Now that 5 mana 3 6, I am considering if I could get it. Neville Gas Intruder. More of my 3 mana flash speed stuff. Um, it's just very strong. You use this, you block a 2 2, kills. So you get a hold up Dissipate while I'm doing it, hold up Blood Pact while I'm doing it. Um, then it's a flyer afterwards, so it can actually threaten lethal. Yeah, Nebel Gas Intruder easily. Devious Cover Up might make it all the way around, meaning we have that deck, which is going to be... We are trying the Devious Cover Up control deck. Let's see if we can pull it off. That's going to be... This is going to be a lot of fun. Whether we succeed or fail, this is going to be a lot of fun. We also have a Novice Occultist down here. Alright. No way out could rip out their hand I think I might just want component collector because I want to just control them out maybe the gale drifter because um I need a flyer but it's definitely one of these guys um I think I'm going to hold back on the no way outs um I do want instant speed when possible this is just one of those cards that in the late game it just acts as a card and sometimes that's good enough I'll grab another crawl from the seller I do again Really like that with Tainted Adversary and Hobbling Zombie. Just really good 
card advantage in the late game. Oof. I think I'm going to go 17 lands because holding up lands for devious cover-up is pretty intimidating for them. So I could just be holding a land and still be threatening them. So probably going to go 17 lands. We'll see. Lock of the Cemetery is becoming worse and worse with these devious cover-ups, with these flashback and disturbing cards. So this might not make it. So I'm going to put that in there for now. Another dissipate. As I said, I am the kind of guy who likes counter spells and decks. So. Okay, okay. Flashing Storm Rider Spirit or Big Zombie Horror? I think I like the flash. I think I like the fact that I get to hold it up and use it later. Won't deny the 3 6 is pretty darn good, but. Alright. Larder Zombie just for control and stifling. I definitely like it more than Consider, I think. Shipwreck Sifters, though. Let's see. One Spirit. One Disturb. Two Spirit. I'll put this in the sideboard in case it can be supported. Um, Eccentric Farmers, in case we end up going green. But yeah. I just realized I didn't look at that pack at all. They might have had a... I, I saw a lot of red and white. They might have had a black card worth taking, but... Nope, Dawnheart Rejuvenator, in case I need to suddenly splash heavily. Alright, 15 cards, plus I can play 3 more if I need to. Plus I have all of this green sudden switch over to green because it's not working out. Shady Traveler could see play in the deck. Again, I'm putting everything in the sideboard if it doesn't definitely... If I definitely want it in the deck, it's going in. Otherwise, I'm keeping in the sideboard. It's good for the deck. Old Stick Fingers. Man, I like the idea of Old Stick Fingers. But it doesn't work for this deck very well. Covetous Castaway. It's another kill spell. It's an early game creature. And then it becomes a 5 mana 3 for Flyer. It could shuffle my counter spells back into my deck. So I think it's definitely Covetous Castaway. Alright. I'm hoping to get back maybe Vivisection. Maybe the Geist Wave. Maybe the Siege Zombie? Yeah, Siege Zombie seems pretty good. Oof. Ghoulish Proce Procession. I still think that's a pretty bad card, so... So the thing is, you need to, like, have a lot of sacrifice triggers with that, and I don't... I don't have any sacrifice triggers other than Eaten Alive, and I already have enough zombie triggers. I'd rather have the Hobbling Zombie to just keep my three drops consistent. Another Dissipate. Or another Hobbling Zombie. How much of a jerk am I? That's really the question. <laughs> like, third Dissipate seems pretty insane for a limited deck. Um, and there are also odds that people don't like Dissipate, and it comes back in a way that Hobbling Zombie won't. I already have two quad from the Zellers. I need some Sacrifice Fodder. I'm going to go with Hobbling Zombie now. And I might get the Dissipate 8 on the way back, which sounds absurd, but could actually happen. Foul Play. Destroy Target Creature. Investigates. Otherwise, Organ Har Harvester. I don't need a third Devious Cover-Up. I have two. Baithook Angler. Two drop. I think I just go with the Zombie. Um... Like, no, neither of these are rotating back. So it's just a question of the Foul Play or the Organ Harvester. Hoarder. And the Organ Hoarder, I think, just center does it better with my deck. Dreadhound. This is a win condition. This is an amazing win condition. Definitely passing up the Olivia's. Definitely passing up the Siege Zombie, but... Great card. Component Collection could be pulled. Our, cards, our deck's great. With that, we are... How are we doing? We have three two-drops, and... So we need more 2-drops. So I'm going to sideboard the Novice Cultist in case we just need more 2-drops. To keep ourselves from dying early. I'm happy to play the devious third Devious cover up because there was no other playables there. Alright. No cards for my deck. Sideboard Burly Breaker in case we need to go green-black and this doesn't work out. Sideboard the Geese Wave in case I really need the 2-drops. 
But yeah, it looks like we have 21 cards, so we just basically play two two drops and we're good. Unbleaky Observer. Cast Disturb Cost or Incident Sorcery Spells. It's a two minute. This actually is the deck that wants this. It lets me hold up Devious Cover Ups and Dissipates and all of their like. Mmm. Sounds good. Alright. Again, sideboard the Candlelit Cavalry. I'm going to grab the Bait Hook Angler as my 23rd card, because it is a 2-drop. It is a 2-drop. It has that Disturb trigger, which is pretty nice for late game. Potential. We have Dreadhound as... We have Dreadhound and 3 Devious Cover-Ups as our finishers, basically. The thing is, there were so many counter spells in this, someone else could have the Devious Cover-Up Dissipate deck. Like, so many counter spells, man. I think I could actually pull out a crawl from the cellar at this point. So, we may have just made our deck. Let me look at it. Make sure our curve looks good. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. So, 6, 7, 3 drops. 5, 2 drops. Alright, so we made our 2 drops pretty good. Um, yeah, I think this is our deck. Um, any card that's, like, really good that I didn't know? Geist Wave. Bringing back Tainted Adversary is pretty amazing. Um, other than that, I just find it's more of an aggressive card to bounce back stuff, and I don't want to be aggressive. Blade Brand is a kill spell with a combat trick. I don't really have need for those. The Hobbling Zombies might be a little weak, because I'm not really using the um, Decaying Tokens much. I guess I'm using them with Dreadhound eventually. Yeah, we're going to try this deck. Demir cover-up. So in case you're wondering, Demir actually was where the original printing of Devious cover-up was. Um, that format didn't have as many graveyard synergies, but I think it still was... It was slow enough that sometimes worked. So we're going to see how this all fares. Not so sure about this, but it looks fun. It looks fun. We have a Memory Deluge. We have a Blood Pact. We have a lot of instant speed card draw, which is pretty nice. We might have to put in the two mana one twos to um, give myself the card draw I need, but I think I'm fine. We have an Infernal Grasp. We have... Mo so, majority of our deck are three drops, so I'm happy keeping this and probably um, using... Like, I'm, I'm confident I will draw a three drop. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright. Well, we just play this as a two mana Death Toucher. Jack o Lantern. T playing Jack o Lantern tells me that I'm facing a three color deck. So. Oh, when I crawl from the grave, this, they're going to be really disappointed. Alright. I have an Infernal Grasp for whatever creature they play. Thar Commando. Do I care to Infernal Grasp this? I mean, it's dead on board. I'm gonna... I am the control deck. I'm gonna save. Good for them. I guess this guy had Death Touch, so that was a reason to save it, but... It's fine. I really want to draw land here. That's not even a good card to target. Alright. I think we just play Organ Hoarder and start cycling through our deck. Alright. I can throw the... I can take the land, throw the Crawl from the Cellar into my grave to bring back the Tainted Adversary. Or I can put this in my... I'd rather confirm the land. So Crawl from the Cellar also puts a plus one plus one count on this, turning it into a 4-3. Sorry, party captain. It's perfectly fine. Alright. 
How do I want to do this? I can leave up five mana for a Stormrider Spirit block. I could eat in a lot. I could also hold up Infernal Grasp and Memory Deluge. It's part of it. Yep, we are the Flash deck. We're gonna slow the roll, control them out. I'll take two. I would. I'm not gonna like expose my Stormrider Spirit to that. Not right now. All right, so they're drawing cards to keep themselves value or oriented. They are playing th two twos, which can become an issue later on, but now it's all right. That is going to be an issue. Um, they already have the coven, so I have to be ready for that. Alright. So I could crawl from the cellar, turn this into a 4 3. And. Okay. I'll, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hold up the Infernal Grasp to. Um. Kill the Dawnheart Mentor. Er. During the. After they declare attackers. And, um. They have to buff. Buff immediately, which gives me the others to trade into easily. That's basically the idea. So we're gonna let them attack first. That's the trick. I'm just gonna buff that now. Alright. Do I wanna kill the 5-5 five five or do No, I I just double block. Just trade a card for a card. They have some sort of combat trick for one mana. I'll respond in kind. Alright, cool. Then I have Infernal Grasp the Dawnheart Mentor. Bait hook angler, and they just hold up and have a memory deluge ready, and it looks scary. I think I like that. It's just kind of figuring out which cards I should be playing is the hard part. Because I could Hobbling Zombie eaten alive and just like clear this off, but I don't think any of their cards on their own are threatening. It's combat tricks that are threatening, and I think I just let them play their combat tricks basically. Alright, I get eaten alive that. Alright, I could also eat alive that to try to... Alright, while we're grabbing the hobbling zombie, I guess we're grabbing... An island? Yeah, because we're gonna have... So if I do that, one, two, three, one, two. Next turn, I'll use this to insane degrees. So. One, two, three, four, five. We are just a little off. Right. Yeah, I like this. Um. It does mean, um, you know, losing resources, but we get rid of their threats that they could pump up. We now have a bunch of grounded threats, and we have three devious cover-ups in our deck. The longer this game goes, the better it is for us. We're about to make a 4-5 Tainted Adversary with Death Touch, and we're going to make a bunch of little tokens along the way. Then we get a hold up a memory deluge if we want. Like, we have solutions. We have solutions. They have two cards left. We effectively have four cards left, thanks to memory deluge. And throwing back our lands was very helpful. 
But even then, like, we went 17 lands because we get to... Like, as you can see, we use our lands. Also, they made the mistake using their combat trick before combat, which was actually not a mistake because I had a trick if they use it pre-combat, which is impressive on their part. All right. Well done on their part. I have Gale Drifter plus Baithood Angler to double block that. If I need to. Yep, 3 2 1 2. Blocks it. I do want to get value from Tainted Adversary, so I'm not going to play it yet. So the attack with Generous Soul, I double block. They're forced to have a combat trick of their two cards left. I will probably have to Blood Pack during my turn. I have five counter spells left in this deck to draw. Ooh. Alright. Really good on their part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I just take it? I think I just take it. I think I block here to just prevent damage output. Nah, nah. That is such a bad situation for me. Oh wait, this still dies. Alright, this just needs to be played. And I'm not going to play any. I just realized that the Generous Soul still dies in the process of that. Well, the Lisa dud me in. The not realizing the Generous Soul trigger dud me in. Bunch of little things dud me in. All my fault. All my fault. Alright, do I block the 2-4? They don't get back till the end of their turn. If I counter, it exiles, so I think I'm okay with this. Not sure if... They do get a lot of triggers with Lisa. Cannot deny that. But I get my blood packed if they play nothing. Alright. I want my Infernal Grasp. I want my Eaten Alive. And I don't really need the 3-3 three, three flying right now. I need my kill spells. Alright, so they get their cards back in their hand. And I just keep drawing lands. Okay, I just drew too many lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. When you add in the two there, I drew only one of my five counter spells. I did make a mistake with Lisa, but my deck's supposed to have counter spells. A, an eighth of the deck is counter spells, and I drew zero through half my deck, going through half my deck. I drew one going through half my deck, I guess. Uh, I won't deny I made some mistakes. I took four damage where I did not need to. That's an immediate mistake. Um, there were definitely mistakes, but that was... I feel a lot of that was just things going awry with my deck more than anything. Alright, Nettlegast. We have a Nettlegast on turn three. Opponent going first does um, mean they get the aggression, which makes this scarier. But I have Nettlegast into Gale Drifter. And I'll have a crawl from the cellar to pull back the Nebelgast. And it looked like they mulliganed, so I am facing get six cards, which makes it a lot safer for me to actually out-control them. I would like more islands because I have a bunch of double blue. I do... I should check my deck how many island to swamp ratio I have. Nine islands, eight swamps. Okay. So 
want to make sure. Alright. Well, the Siege Zombie could get stopped by the Neville Gas Intruder. Three color deck. Alright. So what happens is I let them attack, and then I Neville Gas to turn into a 0-2 and block. Alright, I still play Nebel Gas just to um, reduce the damage, but I kind of rely on Whip Gale Drifter now. Gavin Silversmith on the top there did help them a lot. They are running out of cards. If I can stabilize, they are down. I have an Infernal Grasp behind it. I am willing to double block the Gavin Silversmith. Otherwise, I will just block the Siege Zombie. They are targeting it like they have a kill spell. So I have to keep that in mind. Oh, they just had five mana for that. Okay. Look at this land dilution. Five, six, seven, eight lands, and one, two, three, four playables. Ugh. Do I... I, th I think I have to knock out a land. What I put in its place, I have no idea. And now I'm nearly dead to Seed Zombie and all of this. Yep. Ugh. And they get to tap this out to make me lose life. It's... Listen, when you build a deck with five counter spells saying that's your win condition, not drawing counter spells is kind of a flaw. Like, I have all this mana left open. For a reason, you know? Because of the crawl for this, from the seller, I will be blocking um, the decaying tokens as well, because I'm just so low on health. They could have dealt one more damage, they didn't, which tells me they're not paying attention, which is good for me. But it's just like, if I have eight lands and four playables, that doesn't matter. Uh, especially when those playables are not the counter spells that I've been saving up. Alright. Kill there. Block here. You have no idea how infuriating this is. Alright. Well, we're not dead. We're at one health, but we're not dead. Tap that. Block here. Alright, one, two, three, four. Alright, we bring back the Hobbling Zombie, put another plus one, plus one counter here. Five, six. Are there any... I need to check. Are there any swamps left in the deck? I drew eight swamps. There are seven islands in the deck. No swamps. Alright. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so they got it as well. So they got land ruined as well. Thank goodness. That doesn't actually solve the situation. We're leaving it there. Siege Zombie still dies to Hobbling Zombie. We're coming back at one health, everyone. One health comeback. Six lands left in the deck. So six more draws, and then we're good. <laughs> Uh. I could start attacking with one of the hobbling zombies.
Daybound Nightbound scares me. It's backside. Yeah, it gives everything's haste. We're covering that up. I'm actually going to decline this. I don't want the Nibble Gast in my... Like, I want non-lands clogging up my deck. That is true, but... And what's cool is now we actually are holding up a counter spell. Alright. I'm attacking with one hobbling zombie. I want to make sure I have a blocker. If need be. The reason I killed that is because if they have a card to make zombie tokens, I'm in trouble. Alright. Alright. So I'm attacking with both. It does reveal very clearly I have a dissipate in hand. But it also means that I get to apply pressure faster and finish the game before... I get all my land issues. Alright. That doesn't deal with the threat. I'm keeping... I'm leaving that... They can take out one of my hobbling zombies. I will accept the loss of a hobbling zombie. Alright. Half of our deck. Five lands left. Alright. Seems like such a bad dissipate target. But it keeps my hobbling zombie going through. There will be a time where I get attacked with this to threaten lethal and... Or I could just use that sacrifice fodder. Well, I made a mistake. And it hurts. Or does it? And threaten lethal next turn. Whew. If the Dualcraft Trainer doesn't win here, we Thren Lethal. And we're holding up the Swamp, acting as a counterspell. Are we coming back at one health? Alright. Well, now we're in a stalemate. If they attack, I block with Hobbling Zombie. And... I think it... So I need to end this game. I need to end this game. So I am attacking like this. They block and kill one. I get a creature out of the deal. I do die to a kill spell here. I do not deny I die to a kill spell here. But they die to a land draw. Or anything that's not two creatures. That's not two creatures. We win here. Good game. Lethal on board. Both of us are out of cards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We both drew 11 lands over the course of that game. My god. We both drew so many lands. Uh, the thing is, mine was front loaded, theirs was back loaded. And that just meant surviving the beginning meant that I win in the end. I might want to change that because we've had two games now. So we've had two games now where our lands became the death of us. So if we knock out a land, add in just a component collector or a novice occultist. Yeah, let's knock out a land, add in a novice occultist. Give us a bit more early game. It draws a card so we're not really losing much. And yeah, it get, it's a sacrifice outlet for Ian Alive. It's a good return back with Brawl from the Cellar because it draws us cards in the process. Oof. Covetous Castaway. We do need to draw lands, and we did just go down one land, but I'm keeping it. I'm trusting my deck, and I will be punished for it, I'm certain. Two draws out of Swamp. Or a playable. That was probably a bad keep, but I just, I've been been with this so much. I do not want to attack. Um, the longer this game goes, the better it is for me. So, okay, now I want to attack. Because now I have a hoarding zo hobbling zombie to protect. And I do need to get a win condition eventually, so... Uh, 
I will wait for them to try to coven that before I infernal grasp it. Ward one, perfect. I will infernal grasp this now because um, this thing has. Actually, hold up. I want them to block first. I, I would love a trade, sir. All right, we are playing this to prevent Dave from becoming knight and for the, him drawing a card in the process. Yes, I lose my devious cover up, but um, the like I want to prevent their card draw before I prevent their other effects. All right, that's fine. This is a perfectly acceptable card for them to play here. All right, day turns night. If they attack, they can't really attack with both. That needs to go. And we're putting the Infernal Grass back in our deck. Oh boy. Oof. That's a 5-5. Five five. Nah. Okay with the unruly mob. If they block, turn that into a 2 2. I am alright with that. Actually, I think I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm okay with either block. I'm double block as well is even better. Okay. B Knight was actually a positive for me then. Oh, but then they're about to turn it back to day immediately. Gains double strike. Alright. So now the Donner Rejuvenator can attack. Um I could turn this into a five mana, get my counter spells back in my hand. Um The hobbling zombie is going away if I do that. I think this is the play. It allows me to actually stop the Dualcraft Trainer. And it allows me to possibly get cards in my grave that are worth bringing back. Alright. Otherwise, I can Infernal Grasp this. And in... Okay. Looting the Hobbling Zombie is fantastic here. So now I can play the Hobbling Zombie. Submit zero. Play this. And have an Infernal Grasp. Ready. Alright. Gives it self double strike. By Infernal Grass, I could kill this, double block to kill that. Um, not the best play, but I think it's the correct play. Because Dave's about to turn night, so I want to get rid of this now. play this as a 3-4, which is the exact size I need it to be. Alright. There we go. And that problem sell Eller, bring back one of my hobbling zombies. And making this guy bigger. There we go. I think we got control of this board. Alright. If 
That covetous castaway. I could get three, four, start putting threats into play. And I could bring back my Eaten Alive and my two counter spells. I like that. Not exactly the most mana efficient, but I like it. Alright, my Eaten Alive. My Infernal Grasp. And my Devious Cover Up. So now we have more value in that deck. We're just going to control this game out. I have six mana. I could play anything I need. Yeah, okay. So they're getting mana ruined. They have nine, nine mana versus three, four, five, six, seven playables if that's not a land. So... Torsionist Troop for 8. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm very glad I brought back my kill spells. Alright. Definitely need a death fetcher in there. Gonna crawl from the cellar, gain myself another death toucher. I guess just making this bigger. Oof. Do reveal that it's no longer that I no longer hold a counter spell, but that should be alright. Still nothing big enough to tag into my tainted adversary safely. That's exactly why I did the plus plus one counter where I did. from the cellar, get another hoarding zombie, and I should be able to play the hobbling zombie. Turn this into a 5-6, attack for more. Alright, so it's because they have the 5-5 five, five lifelinker that I can't really attack with the horde. If I attacked with a horde, I'd like it looks like it's lethal, but um, then they gain 5 life in the process. Let's see, 1. So they block 4 creatures. Yeah, they gain 5 life, which brings them to 13, which means even if they just block the decaying tokens, they um, survive, and then they just win in the crack back. Alright. And now I look like I'm holding up a counter spell, and I am holding a flash creature, so I am quite intimidating. And yeah, all these death touchers are just fantastic, so I have this ground of death touchers. See it. Veteran. Yeah, now attacking in actually gives them an aerial blocker. Let's see, that's 10. Okay, so they don't have anything, so that's 10 in the. Okay, I have lethal. Now I know I have lethal. They have to have some insane combat trick, and even then, they're losing so many creatures in the process. And I have these two creatures to help block the, res the resulting combat trick, should it appear. So I think we just killed every... Okay, we didn't kill a contortionist troop. Well... Death Touchers are very powerful when you're trying to be a control deck, everyone. Death Touchers are very powerful.
Novice Cultist was definitely better than a land there. Novice Cultist was definitely better than a land there. Even though they never saw play, the land was going to see less play. The novice possibly cycling into something else. Even if it was to another land. Cycles through more of my deck. Really close games here. We do not make them easy, it seems. Moosey Maisie. Alright. We have an Unbleaking Observer into a Bait Hook Ang We have a Bait Hook Angler into an Unbleaking Observer. We're going first. Hmm. Yeah, if they're targeting something, I want them to target the bait hook angler. All right. Yep. All right, then kill that. Then a creature that I appreciate. Great thing is next, if they play a creature here, I get hold of both Nibble Gas Intruder and um, Devious Cover Up using the. Alright, well, they didn't play a creature worth considering. Alright. I'm gonna hold up the Nebel Gas and Devious cover up. I am actually going to be playing the Organ Harvester because I need to find. Alright. Right now, I think that the Tainted Adversary is actually the best card here. Because just the Death Toucher makes it even harder for them to interact. Alright. Made a mistake. Oh well. I lost my Eden alive. I made some mistakes. I get it. There's my lands. A little late, though. Yeah, Lisa's just so powerful. I need a kill spell, and I don't have one right now. This guy can't die because of Lisa. So, I'm going to play the Tainted Adversary, try to just apply a little more pressure. Ugh. We're not in a good spot. The fact that I used my counter spells and then they played Lisa really hurts. The fact that Lisa has lifelink hurts even more. Alright, well they candle trapped him. I'm okay with that. There's our infernal trap. I think we just use it now. I'm gonna attack here actually. See if they block the Gavany Trapper. They have one card left. I'm going to put a stop at their upkeep before they draw a card. Because I want them to not draw a survival spell for this. It is an angel, so the only survival spell I can think of does not work on angels. Alright. I can't think of a bigger threat than Lisa, so they'd have to have a return from the grave effect, which they do. And now I draw the counter spell.
Well, Lisa single-handedly is killing me thanks to the craw from the cellar. It's just everything they need. I threw my Eaton Alive back. I guess I needed that over... But yeah, I... Can I just say the two losses so far from this deck, it, assuming I lose here, um, have both been to Lisa, specifically? I think at this point, I literally Nebel Gas just to reduce damage. Just to reduce the life gain they gain, and to um, allow myself to attack more freely. I think at this point, I need to save the Dissipate for when they bring back Lisa. Yeah, I'm not blocking. I'm attacking back. Well, we're dead in like two turns. Yeah, we're dead next turn. Unless we have something. We have to kill Lisa, and when they try to crawl from the cellar again, I dissipate it. That's the only win condition I can think of right now. This was not a land issue, this was me milling my kill spell instead of playing it. Issue. Alright, this allows me to play both Devious Cover Up and Dissipate. Should they be of value. There was no reason to attack there. Do they not realize? So if they just tapped um, that with my Gavany Trapper, they would have had lethal this turn. Uh, well, now we have the Devious Cover-Up and the Dissipate, so... Once we draw not lands, we were coming back to this game. But we drew just lands. Yeah, so... Died both times to Lisa. Guess I should value Eaton Alive more when I'm playing this deck more than Tainted Adversary. I just thought they were going to be a very aggressive deck, but they had Lisa to talk. Well, learn learn from mistakes. Both losses have been to Lisa so far, by the way. The exact same rare multicolored card has killed me both times. And it was the card that got me five wins last time, so I'm not so like I got some myself, but <sighs> says a lot. So we have to win this next game because gain three wins is the minimum to consider a alright draft. At three win the third win gives you seven hundred and fifty gems. So this next win is is extremely important to me. This next one is extremely important to me. Okay, sure, why not? If you can see it for me, sir. I mean, why not? Key seven. All right, got bait hook angler into tainted adversary. All right. They have midnight ambush. That's my guess. And they try to think, do I even want to ambush that? Because, yeah. I should have, I should have actually played the blue, so I was holding up a counter spell. Oh well. I could play this and then have nothing. I could play this, crawl from the cellar. I could just hold up Nebelgast. Starting to think the incremental points of damage that Nebelgast will prevent is worth the while. It will say a lot if they just attack here. Alright, we're in this board state then. I'm gonna actually play the Bayo Gangler. Let's provoke them into interacting. 
And the best part about Hakant Drifter is it's not worthy of a counter spell or anything of that nature, and yet it's going to kill them over the course of 20 turns. Alright. I'm alright with Olivia's. I have an Infernal Grasp. Next turn, if they tap out, I contain an adversary for five. I'm actually going to discard the Nibble Ghast. Alright. They cannot counter. So this is when we play our Tainted Adversary and pump it. So we have a 5 mana 3 4 Death Toucher, and we also have Decaying Zombies of our own. How do you respond, good sir? Next turn, if we draw no lands, we could just Storm Rider. If we um, draw land, but we. Yeah, so we have options now. Two things are instant speed, one thing is a win condition. No Way Out did help them there, but not as much as they hoped. I now have a Crawl from the Dead in my grave that I can pull out if I need it. Ooh. What do you think about Jack... Oh, so, yeah, so the Nintendo j revealed a theme where they were talking about all of the um, characters. Jack Black as Bowser is probably the most entertaining of the ones I saw, but it just it's just a funny one, you know? Obvious. I mean, obviously it's a funny one, but... I mean, I don't really want to loot kill my creature for a 4-4. Four -four. It has Menace. Oh... Sure, I'll trade my Death Toucher for a 4-4. Four -four. If I need to, I have both Infernal Grasp, Blood Pact, or Storm Rider Spirits. Um, or Storm Rider Spirit, basically. Blade Brand? So I could kill this now. So now they don't even draw a card from that. And I'm holding up a flip the switch. Oh, I look so threatening. But yeah, Jack Black as Bowser. So basically, all the um, casting fiends were just basically to show that this was a comedy, not really a Mario story. Like, it's a comedy using Mario as the character. Um... Like, all of those characters were comedians, and they didn't... And just to, like, put the salt in the wound, they didn't... They had the voice actor for um, Mario in all the game series, and they didn't use them for... They just had them be a background character. They said they're special appearance, they're not the Mario. Which tells me that this is... This is meant to just be a fun little romp of a movie, and then the Nintendo effect is just... Something behind it, you know? So yeah, unless they do something here in response to my Tainted Adversary attacking, I'm going to just hold up for Stormire Spirits. Um, Dreadhound can be played, but play straight into a counterspell. So I'm not going to bother playing it. I'm going to let them tap their mana out. Alright. Learn their mistake. <laughs> they were holding... I think they are holding up a counterspell, and that's why they didn't... Hello. How's it going? Yep, I have the better of the two decks. Blade Brand does not work in this format. It just doesn't. Um, to, the combat tricks are all things that are going to deal with the fact that they have damage output at all. It's like, it's a counter, count, it's a combat trick counter counter sort of thing. It's not, it's, I'm going to trade with you equally. Oh, now I'm too big to be traded with. Alright, well now I'm going to trade with you equally again. Note that you didn't blow them out. You just traded equally again. You still lost your creature. You still lost tempo. Blade Brand just does not work in this format right now. But yeah, for um, all the Mario things, you could just tell it's it's built to be a comedy that has Mario as characters, Joel. It's a comedy that has Mario as characters. So I'm not really thinking otherwise, other than that. We go first. We have Hobbling Zombie into Devious Cover-Up with Nebble Ghasts in the back. We do, not, we do lack a two-drop, but we have all the other pieces.
I'm going to nettle gas this. Why nettle gas is so good. Exhibit A. Ooh. Let's drop with Jaren. I'm going to play a hobbling zombie to slow them down. Next turn, I can hold up both Storm, um, Storm Rider Spirit and um, Devious Cover-Up. So, next turn is when I start having untapped mana. I am more than happy to block Darren with Hobbling Zombie. I am more than, I'm more than happy to block with ho Hobbling Zombie, in all ways. Yeah, the Nibble Gast... Just being able to blow out um, two drops like that is very valuable. I know exactly the spell they're going to play if they attack with their 1-1. One, one. So I'm probably... But at the same time, I have to stop Vampire, so I think I'm going to block it anyways to force them to commit their resources. They have a combat trick. That's why they're Kazari. I think it's the deal one damage to the player and a creature draw card. That's their combat trick. They actually paid one more than necessary with that. It's X plus one. You could pay Z you can have X equals zero to kill the Nettle Guest. I cannot think of any Ah, uh, eaten alive. Let's see. So they do have some response spells. They're probably going to try to kill the Storm Rider Spirit. I will be killing Jaren. Or trying to kill Jaren. Alright. How do you respond? Alright. I can now double block successfully. They're the aggressive deck. They're slowly going to run out of cards. They are going to run out of cards. They attack with f both. They might have to just use the Falcon Wrath to block. I am double blocking. If you have a combat trick, congratulations, you blew me out. Like... I mean, you don't really make that attack unless you have a combat trick, right? But I'm okay 2 for one in here, or 2-4 plus their combat trick. Here. All right. All I need to do is draw one more swamp and hobbly jo zombie plus blood black becomes a play. Um, they could just draw land. Okay, I'm going to Blood Pact myself now to draw that land. And I drew the wrong land. Ugh. Alright. If I draw another land, I can Hobbling Zombie and still hold up Devious Cover Up. They might just... If that's a land, they're sacrificing the Falcon Wrath Pith Fighter to just draw more cards to cycle through their deck. That's my guess. Yep, so they discarded a land that they just drew. That's why I didn't want to just leave up Devious Cover Up. How much is this? Oh! I can play this and leave up Devious Cover Up. It kills the Falcon Wrath Perforator. If they have a kill spell for this, I get a respond. And I get to put my Dissipate, my Nebelgast. And my Storm Rider Spirit back to my deck. Alright. So the aggressive deck just ran out of steam. Therefore, I think we've just won. It's going to take a few turns before it is official. But I think we just won.
All right. And we're holding up enough for both flip the switch and dissipate. We've shown that dissipates in this deck. Let's kill. Let's make sure it dies. Hold that back in case of a hasty creature. All right. They have one card in hand. Yep. All right. Deck worked as it's, as intended. And yeah, in case you're wondering, those um, those make them discard a card, create a zombie, have been effective, especially in decks where you can actually use zombies. Which is strange. I'm playing blue black, but I cannot use the decayed tokens effectively. That's very strange. Hmm. I might want to put it in my deck because it is a two for one technically, but it's also like it's a slow two for one. I think my deck's slow enough as is. Like definitely want to get them to a point where they have one card in hand and I have a counter spell, I probably win. But it's like I need to have a board first. All right, hey Tadpole, I know that you're on recording mode right now, but if you have time, we can take care of that spell tonight if you'd like. Feel free to not. All right, so yeah, I can definitely take care of that tonight. Don't you worry about it, bro. Alright, I'm okay trading Bait Hook Angler to stop this guy from drawing you a card. But yeah, alright. Yeah, once I've done streaming. I just want to make sure you're all good with it, because I just kind of made it as what I thought it could be. That is the most aggressive Infernal Grasp I have ever seen. In Limited. In limited, he did that. All right, I just need to draw a swamp. Draw a swamp, I get hobbling zombie, which can block that. Darn it. All right, well, I can double block it. This is my last one to that I can lose, so I have to be careful. All right, they have some good cards. All right, doesn't really tell me anything. Hey, there you are. Okay, adversary is probably better when I draw a second swamp. Yeah, I'm gonna hobbling zombie instead. Just hold, make sure that the board is in stasis. They only have one island, so the only spell they can have as a counter spell is flip the switch. Which does work great with a static awakener, so can't deny that. It's kind of funny, they're a, we're both Demir decks. They have all their black but not their blue. I have all my blue but not my black. <laughs> uh, which is fine, because they that one little... All right. They probably won't disturb this. Bottom. All right. I guess I did that backwards. I want him to lose the organ hoarder, not the other one. Ugh. Crawl from the cellar, bring back Horian Zombie, but then I can't even play it. Tain Adversary is just a 2 3. Stormary Spirits of Flashing. Infernal Grass kills big threats. Ugh. Just a bad spot. Just a bad spot.
<sighs> Gotta find a way through here. Um, Tainted Adversary might just be played as a 2-3. Crawl from the cellar with something. Yep. This is expected. They're gonna sacrifice to make that bigger. They did not sacrifice. Interesting. Archive Hunt. Alright, so they tapped out their mana. Alright. I can crawl from the Zell or the Hobbling Zombie, but then I can't play it. But that holds allows me to hold up Devious Cover-Up still. I think that's okay. I don't like it, but I think that's the play I have to take. We get block the Archive Hunt. Um, the Organ Hoarder will eventually deal with itself. I can Infernal Grasp something. Like, yeah, just having that one swamp and all of my cards be black really feels bad. Alright. Yeah, I'm keeping my creature around. So they have a 3-2, a 1-1 one, one that comes a 4-4 four, four very easily, and a 2-1 flyer. I might have to block the 3-2 if they don't attack with their Archive Haunt, just to stop the, stem the bleeding. But, like, I'm losing... I have so much blood loss, effectively. Alright. They're sacrificing the 2-2 to get themselves some card draw. That's what it looks like. Oof. At least we got our 3 wins. I don't think this deck is bad. I literally think we just got land issues... We, so, first of all, I played poorly against a 4-5 flying lifelinker bomb that I didn't expect them to have. So, twice I did that as a mistake. And once, I think we got land issues. A second eaten alive. Alright. Got me there. Got me there. Yep. 5-6... They have some card advantage. If I infernal grab something, they just use a Cedric Awakener to pull it out. If I hobbling zombie, let's see. I block here, I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I hobbling zombie, I lose. If I tainted adversary, I also lose. So I blood packed? That just feels so bad. This feels so bad, but I cannot see a way I win right now. Yeah. I'm dead if he if they recognize what's going on. They just attack with all. Oh, they even have a defenestrate. Okay. Well, we did not draw our swamp in time. All our cards were black. So that was just misfortune, as far as I could tell. Um, this deck was also pretty good. I'm not going to deny this deck was pretty strong themselves. Like, yeah, they... They had the cards. They had the cards. Can't deny that. I feel like a lot of our losses here was just inconsistency more than anything. Um, just gotta be prepared for them to have blowouts, I guess. Just gotta prepare for them to have blowouts. Do not expect that. This was fun for me to play, but it seems like the tempo is important enough for this format that Devious Cover-Up doesn't work. I drew zero mi I think I might have drawn this card once. Lands was really my issue every time. Novice Contest, like, it underperformed, but, like, what was I going to do? Maybe I didn't have enough kill spells? Yeah, I had one eaten alive. And while the death rattles worked great, I didn't have enough kill spells. So, oh well. We got four wins. That's fantastic. That means I made up for... I lost 100 gems in that process and got all those packs and everything. In the end, we were, did fine. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day.